Next day and two day shipping nationwide. Beginning today, first class mail, about 40% of the first class mail is going to be impacted where the standard of delivery for mail being sent across the country is about three days. That's going to be pushed out to five days for, you know, first class letters, uh, documents, bills being sent from, let's say, you know, uh, New York to California. Local mail, that's still going to have its two day standard. And the reason why this is happening is that this is part of the uh, U.S. Postal Service's plan under the Postmaster Louis DeJoy to reduce $160 billion loss that the post office has accrued over the years. It will disproportionately affect seniors who rely on the mail much more than other segments of the population and rural areas. And so beginning certainly with your November mail and bills, you're gonna start seeing delays in receiving that. So making sure that all consumers are paying attention uh, to when they're receiving their bills or their checks. The second quarter GDP was revised upward to 6.7%, which really showed that going into the spring and into the beginning of the summer, the economy was really buzzing as people started traveling, taking summer breaks, and, and really starting to spend. We saw consumer spending up significantly. And then it, the economy kind of hit a wall, it hit the Delta variant wall. And, and so economists are looking at the third quarter, which ended yesterday, to really dr drop quite a bit. They were looking at you know north of 6% GDP growth rate, maintaining that flow, to GDP being about 5.4% and dropping to below 3% in the fourth quarter. Then the markets reacted very badly, having their first monthly loss since March of 2020, when all the indices were down. But on the good news side, today, the, the, the Commerce Department announced that consumer spending in August was up eight tenths of 1%. That's a very robust amount of spend. Uh, also, incomes were up two tenths of 1%. So there may be some tailwinds as we see heading into the fall. And depending on how we pull out of the, you know, addressing the, the Delta variant, we might see that growth rate in the fourth quarter, you know, tip back up north of 3%, as opposed to having a range from two and a half to 3%. So overall, you know, this is, you know, the next few weeks are going to be very important as, as we look at the debt ceiling conversation, the passing of any of these infrastructure bills that are that are pending in Congress, and, and, and to see what consumers are doing um, as we see the unemployment numbers next week.